Hello friends, good morning. Let's start. In this session, what we will do is, uh, we'll have a couple of pending steps that we need to perform. One thing I need to do is, uh, I need to copy some data inside the legacy file server. Okay. And the second step is, I need to install and configure the Windows Admin Center in order to configure the server migration services. Okay. Yeah, let's start. What is the IP of my legacy server? Legacy file server, which is running on 2008. Okay, 40.4. Let me log in. Okay, 40.4. Okay. Um, what we'll do? Let's do protocols. Let me go to yeah. yeah. I have two websites. What I'll do, I'll copy onto this folder. Okay. And I have a couple of images on this. I'll just copy all of them and I'll paste it in public. Clear. and then in the generic share I do have a couple of softwares yes select the smaller ones let me sort it out okay that's it so it will take a little time let me copy it Excuse me. Or next, let <coughs> excuse me, forty dot three. Let me log in into SMS server. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, it is added to the domain. Okay. Okay. Logged in. let me see if the data copy is done yeah it's done so on each share I have some data in it okay three here we go now let me go to SMS server what I need to do I need to download something okay IE settings has been disabled, that is reason. I'm able to access the okay. What's wrong? It is working. Okay, let me go to, I know, what's the issue? <coughs> Properties. PV4, here, I need to mention something called public DNS. Alright, close this. Now, refresh. Yeah, it's working. So, what I need to install Windows Admin Center. Okay. <coughs> uh, 
Okay, let it download. Admin center. Okay, let me fill it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, save it. Cool. The downloads install the admin center. Things uh, to four forty three, <coughs> and what I will do, I'll also download the Chrome because some of these settings will not allow you. Some of the settings I will not allow you to run, so let me download. Okay. Done. So still installing the admin center. Once installation is done, what we'll do is we'll see what all the options available in the admin center, and then we'll enable the SMS service in this video. And in the in the next session, we'll see how we can configure the replication jobs and other stuff. Take a little while. It was on the tabs. Okay, minimize. Meanwhile, let me copy. Meanwhile, let me copy some more data into it in case if I want to do some testing that will help me. Okay. Software is on the generic share. Of course, I would like to see the data is replicating from legacy server to uh, new file server <clears throat> at least we should take some time right so in order to that I'm just trying to put some more data in it okay yeah finished this is also run okay yeah here you go if but to proceed so admin center is picking up okay sure so this is my sms server let me connect to the local host minimize and we'll see whether it's still the key yeah perfect okay got connected if you see on the admin center inside the admin center you will see a lot of options SMS server and domain. So available space stuff, processors, yeah. So, number of NICs, okay, fine. Utilization, so on so right. Cool. Let me see on what all the options available. Or you Azure hybrid services. Okay, you can connect to on from this machine I can connect to Azure I can take the backup of this machine onto Azure okay that I can do and I can if, if the file server if I'm using the file server 
<coughs> using this file sync option I can replicate the data onto Azure file shares and Azure monitor we can do the monitoring and alerts troubleshooting and stuff and security center I will have to see I haven't used yet we can do a certificate management if you want to host some SSL kind of stuff and devices will show you what all the devices that are mounted on this particular server okay files okay the C drive and stuff cool so let me go to a couple of options at the end you'll see storage migration service so let me go to storage migration service okay let me install the service it will take a little while to install and enable the service taking some time yeah here we go so service is enabled and now if you're ready to create a job and schedule the migration from one server to another server which is from legacy to new file server also with the Azure file sync the, the same file server data that you can replicate onto Azure file share okay if time permits after this migration testing is done then I'll, I'll also test the file sync service as well and I'll upload in the same series okay I'll stop this video here and then we'll continue the rest of the steps in the next video thank you